Hi, this is Heidi with So Heidi. I'd like to give a quick demonstration on the pen tool in Illustrator, which is an extremely powerful and um, amazingly accurate tool that you can use for drawing or uh, tracing your illustrations. So what I've done first is pulled out the pen tool uh, palette. There's a couple different options here. You've got your standard pen tool. You've got an add anchor point tool, subtract anchor point tool, as well as the convert anchor point tool. So your standard pen tool you'll use to draw. Your add anchor point you will use to add anchor points to your line segment or subtract them with the delete. And the convert anchor point tool will allow you to convert an anchor point with uh, no handles or with one handle to an anchor point that does have handles. So um, P is the shortcut to get to your pen tool. So you just hit P. Now you'll notice if you just draw, you click and add points and it's just straight lines. Okay. Once you get to the end and you want to close your gap, you'll notice you get a tiny circle next to your pen tool, which means you are going to be closing that shape. So now this is one closed shape. Uh, if you'd like to draw curved lines, what you need to do is click and on your next point, click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. Okay, so that allows you to have curvature in your line. You can always come back with your direct selection tool, select a point, and modify the curvature of your line to get exactly the shape that you want. Now back to the pen tool. A couple things that you'll want to notice. As you click and drag, you'll see here this point has two handles. The little extenders coming off that you can then modify with your direct selection tool to change the curvature are called handles. Now, as you're drawing the next segment, you'll notice you inherited the handle from that previous point. And that might give you some hard times in adjusting the curvature of your line. If you want to not inherit that handle, what you do, take your pen tool, click on the last point you just made. You'll notice as you mouse right over it, you get a tiny arrow next to your pen tool. And what that does is it takes away that last handle and you now have independent control over your next line. Okay, So you just click on the previous point that you made and you get separate control. So let's take a look at this in relationship to our uh, fashion sketch. So I'll turn that layer on. I also like to, we don't need a fill, turn my pen to a bright color that I can see easily on my sketch. And I'll just start tracing. Okay. Now as you're tracing, you may find that you have too many or too few anchor points. So what you can do is add or subtract anchor points. Now, if you have a segment selected and you have your pen tool selected, as you mouse over the line, let's, move the, let's turn this off so you can see, as you mouse over the line, once you get directly on your line segment, you'll notice if you're mousing somewhere that there are no anchor points, it'll change to a plus sign instead of an X, which means you're then going to be adding an anchor point. If you want to remove anchor points, you just mouse over an anchor point and you should get a minus sign next to your pen and you can start deleting anchor points. You'll notice you still have this as a full line segment, but you are adding and subtracting. So you're not actually cutting the line, you're just adding and removing points. Conversely, um, you can subtract them with your minus tool here or add them by selecting that tool. Now another thing, you may have drawn a segment with a sharp corner that you later want to convert to uh, a rounded corner and you want to add handles to that. So you select your convert anchor point tool, grab the point, and that will add handles for you. Okay, then you can use your direct selection tool to manually adjust the curvature of those lines. So we've got our uh, photo. Here's a rough outline I did. 
some of the, the lines aren't super smooth and detailed, and then I've got my refined sketch. And you can see that you can get an extremely soft, smooth, um, detailed drawing using the pen tool. And you always have control to add or subtract points and adjust the curvature. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a little bit more about the pen tool and we'll try this out on your fashion sketches. I am available for private illustrator tutoring regarding fashion design or other topics. Visit my site at SoHeidi.com. Thank you.